Is it because he was stacking on camera? Probably. <laughs> stacking a nip. I enjoyed that. Because <laughs> he was stacking a nip on camera in the club. Thug just a real nigga, man. <laughs> as, and I, when Thug first came out, I really wasn't a big Thug fan. But as I'm going yeah. along, Thug is Thug a real nigga, man. I've been telling niggas, man, I fuck with Thugger. I definitely fucks with Thugger, man. And they came along with, oh, last favor. The lighter that's on the container. The lighter, see? Black people, man. We always need some shit, man. You the only nigga that smoke that just, how you just don't got a lighter you smoke? Man, I got the lighter. The lighter just over there, and I'm incapacitated currently, so I can't get to the motherfucker. Y'all, so can't, the, y'all can't really see it. My leg is <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> leg I'm gonna let him feel up. y'all in while I go grab this. This whole left leg right here is in a brace, <laughs> so this shit don't even bend. That's why we're not in our normal setting, man. We, we in the garage. He had to come to in, me today. In the man cave. Yeah, he had to come to me today, so he bought it out. I appreciate it, man. Don't twist it, though. This like a like a detached garage from the crib. Like, this nigga... Man, let me tell you. I knew, so, I knew, I knew <laughs> when I shot, or when I told Ja to come to the crib and do it, I said, Dick, this nigga's gonna say something about the crib. So ja hasn't I, been to my house yet. I just moved back in November, so he hasn't been here. So when I pulled up, number one. Knew he was gonna say some shit about it. I number one, when it. I pulled up, he had a, um, like a, a gatekeeper. Like, you know, most gated neighborhoods, you got to punch the code in. He had like an actual security guard and shit. I live in Norfolk. There's one There's one gated neighborhood in Norfolk and it's not mine. So he had a security guard. So he's like, oh, you're here to see. I forgot what he called him. It was like some shit I ain't never heard before. It wasn't even his name, first or last. So I was like, oh, that's different. So I Googled it. It, it equated to the word master some kind of way. But <laughs> So I get here. I go down this winery. <coughs> Come to find out, it's not a gated neighborhood. It's just you. this nigga's property. <laughs> like, it ain't even a whole neighborhood. It's just, it's just this nigga. The winding road that this nigga went this down nigga. was Azalea Garden it's, Road. It's just this nigga. <laughs> in Norfolk. This nigga property by itself. I don't listen, I don't listen to that, man. So I, I get on the, on the property, which I think they refer to as the compound, Kyle Compound. <laughs> And he's like, yeah, we gonna go in the in the uh the pool house garage. I'm like, well, I ain't even know pool houses had garages. Y'all y'all constantly let this man lie to y'all about the type of money that I have. I've been here in black sweatpants and a diamond supply t shirt with a white woman butt on it. I'm he just poor. taking the Bill Gates approach. <coughs> <coughs> he been hearing niggas talk about how uh how Bill Gates dressed. So he just been yeah. following suit, that's all. <laughs> Been a couple weeks, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. We back another week. Another week. Another episode. BYOB. We here, man. I am. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> I am your host, Regular Ja. And of course. I go by the name of Kyle, 80 Proof. We in the building, man. The Prince of Pot, Your Majesty of Marijuana, whatever you want to call me this week. Because apparently I never introduced him cool enough, so now this nigga just got to start introducing himself. I mean, I can speak for myself sometimes. <laughs> it's like, nigga, don't just call me Kyle. Nigga's like, this is, this is my co-host Kyle. <laughs> Why? Because you ain't got, like, no f- fancy nickname or nothing. Like, fancy nickname. I'm not cool enough to have no fancy nicknames. You me. too cool to have one. That's what it is. <laughs> when you got a name like Kyle, it's hard to come up with a nickname. <laughs> Niggas used to call me Big K, but I never wanted to be related to fucking Kmart. Bro, but, I'm not calling you yeah. Big K, bro. <laughs> never wanted to be related to Kmart. I'm calling on that. No, sir. So. so I think we're going to flip it this week. I think we're going to start the regular shit later and talk about the the, the gossipy bullshit at the end. We can do that. I'm with, that shit. I'm with all that shit. There ain't too much gossipy bullshit going on anyway. Too much. Too much. Too much. So look. Speaking of, this is how I'm going to set it off. So, on the way here, he tells me, he, he requests, you know what I'm saying, me to make a store run. I was going to the store anyway. Like, I ain't get sent to the store. I'm not, <laughs> not the type of nigga that you sent to the store. That's, yeah. <laughs> get that clear. <laughs> Let's clear that shit up in the beginning. But nah, so he's like, yeah, just grab me this and I'll cash out you the money. Like, bro, I told him, <laughs> what the fuck I say? 
Oh yeah, I, I wish the fucker would. I, I wish a nigga would cash out me two dollars. Yeah, that's gonna pick me up some roll up. It was like two dollars, you know, rolls ain't shit. Like two, three dollars. So I was gonna cash out with the money, man, because I don't like I don't like to ask niggas to buy shit for me. Like, like bro, you know what I'm saying, if I got the money to get it, I get to you. That I feel that, but if I would have seen your name and two dollars on my cash out, we probably would have had to throw them. <laughs> and I wouldn't have took it easy because your leg fucked up. I'm just saying, man. Like we would have just. We... I like to pay my dues. I like to pay my dues. Like, I ain't been able to get around this week, so if I got to call you for a ride to come get me, nigga, I got you on some gas money, I got you on yeah. something to eat, whatever we got to do. I like, got you. That's, that's not I just, I don't well, like yeah. using people. So man. with that, what's your stance on uh, lending people money or borrowing money from people? That's a risky situation. It, you know what? It shouldn't be. People, nah, it shouldn't. It but, shouldn't be. People take but that. But you know how it go. Yeah, people take that shit to heart, man. And I feel like if you're going to lend somebody some money, my rule of thumb is if I lend you the money, I'm going to make sure that I don't need the money. Yeah, you never lend out more than, yeah, than you can handle can taking a loss on. That's, so if, period. that's exactly what I do. If I hand it out to you as a loan, I count it as a loss. Yeah. And if you give it back to me, cool. Like, yeah. that shit just worked out. It's smooth, like, like, it's like credit. So now I know. <laughs> I know. Time. Yeah, now I know next, next time. time <laughs> your shit good. Yeah, yeah your shit good. So um, I definitely always count that shit as a loss when I hand it out. Uh, I don't mind. I don't mind loaning money to my friends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Depending on the amount of money, I might ask you what you need it for. <laughs> but once you hit a certain threshold, you know what I'm saying? If you ask me for a dub, I'm not gonna be like, nigga, what do you need a dub for? Need a dub. <laughs> All right. Um, but Usually, if, you, if a nigga just need a dub, it's it's, never, it's just a ran, it's, nothing, it's nothing serious. It's, it's nothing serious, shit. and you probably don't want the answer to the question anyway. And I'm gonna forget that I gave you the dub, honestly. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but that's probably a question you don't want you don't yeah. want the real answer to. If a nigga tell you I'm about to go get it. Yeah. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> nigga, if you hit me and be like, nigga, I need uh five hundred dollars, <laughs> first of all, you hit the wrong nigga because I ain't got it. <laughs> I ain't got it. That's first off. But if I did have it, nigga, uh, I might ask you why I might ask you why you need the money. Yeah. I need to know where my hard earned money going be. Number one, I wish I could show y'all. This nigga's compound, but he got some shit where it shuts down all electronics outside of the inside. So I can't even. This nigga's lying. He, Jaws lying. <laughs> Stop letting Jaws lie to y'all, man. We're going to have a cookout at the crib this summer, though. I ain't tell you. Um, I'm going to do a cookout at the crib. We're going to do the podcast live from the cookout. That's, That's idea. fire. That's idea. That's had. fire. That's fire. That's the idea I had. So, um, y'all, y'all will see the, the, the crib and see how much this nigga is lying. Yeah, don't worry about it, y'all. This nigga, this ain't the only one. Um, <laughs> um but as far as me, uh, yeah, yeah lending think. money, I'm I'm the same boat. Like I don't I don't give out more than I feel like I can take the loss on. Yeah, like it don't matter who is to if I can't take that L. Like if you ask me for a hundred, but I ain't got a hundred, I'd be like, I, I got forty for you. I got forty for you. I give you what I got. <laughs> Most of them just want forty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, I give you what I got, me. You forty dollars is that threshold anyway. That's that's mo- what most of them want anyway. That's what they re- what they require. But no, but as far as borrowing money, um, I hate to do it, but I will. You know what I'm saying? I but, will if I got to. Yeah, but I've been there. So anytime, and I'm talking about anybody who I ever borrow money from can attest. Like, I, nigga, I if I if I get twenty from you, I probably give you twenty five back. Just, just for looking out, you know what I'm saying? Like, yep. it's been times where I definitely had to borrow like 50 from a nigga. This was, and, I can honestly and I gave him like 75 back just cause. Most times they don't take the 75, <coughs> but he's like, yo, you good? I ain't worried about it. Like, nah, nigga, it's the point, not the principle. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what? I'm not even gonna front. I, there is one nigga that I still owe money to, and it's my man's. Like, his kids is my god kids. My son is his god child. So that's my man's. Like. And I, I owed him this money for quite some time now, some years. And I did some nigga shit, you know, took some trips in between where I probably could have paid the nigga back, but I didn't. He never pressed me about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Our friendship never changed because of it, although it could have. And it probably borrowed more. Yeah. Nah, after nah, that. I never, I never asked for another dollar. After that. <laughs> after that day. The fact that I still acknowledge it, though, you know what I'm saying? I know I got something special planned for this nigga. You know what I'm saying? The fact yeah, that yeah. when the time comes, I know I got something special yeah. planned for him. So, but acknowledge the fact that you owe your debts, man. Like, stop ducking people. That's one thing I didn't do when it came to, like, I didn't duck them. Yeah, nah, you can't. I feel like 
If you ducking me, I'm going to slap you. Just hey, off the principle of it. If you say you're going to get my money back on Friday, and Friday tell me you ain't got it, call me back and be like, yo, I know I told you I was going to get it to you today. I yeah. ain't got it. Give me a couple days. I need all that shit. Cool. I ain't going to stress about it. Now, Friday roll around, I'll hear shit from you. Saturday <laughs> roll around, I'll hear shit from you. Sunday yeah. roll around. Normally, you hit me up two, three times a week. Next week, roll around, I'll hear shit from you. Like, I need that. <laughs> I need that rat. I need something. something. Give me something. Like I, I need something to to, to, to satisfy this this anger right now. But yeah, um, you ever notice when you ask for your money back, people always say some shit like this little twenty dollars or this. You really, t- <laughs> you really pressing me by this little punk ass twenty dollars. Oh, look at that punk twenty dollars. That twenty dollars was tough as hell when you needed it though, wasn't it? That struggle for that bitch. That bitch won't tough. It won't punk ass then. That shit was tough as hell. The toughest money in the yeah, world. The toughest twenty dollars you couldn't get, bitch. <laughs> that shit was a Mike Tyson twenty. So a Tyson twenty, whooping ass. But now you have a little punk ass twenty dollars or a funk ass. Yeah. That motherfucker smelled good when you needed it though. When I gave it to you, that motherfucker would smell like goddamn Saint Laurent. <laughs> Y'all got a. a I loan niggas money because he got it. <laughs> the fuck? So that's why he counts shit as a loss because he, he ain't even worry about it. He just throw that shit away. If I won't worry about it, it wouldn't be a loss. <laughs> I can't take no L. Water break. <laughs> <laughs> niggas had to sip some water on loaning niggas yeah. money. Nah, but I'm just I mean, a thirsty ass nigga, man. On and off. Cash app has made that shit a lot easier, yo. What, being a thirsty ass nigga? That too. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas is definitely paying for premium snaps through Cash App. <laughs> paying for news and shit. I see you. I see you, Playboy. Nah. But it made that shit like loaning your friends and just transferring money between people. Yeah. That shit made that shit a lot easier. Then so, then they came out with a Cash App card. Like, that was, it was now genius, they don't even take the money from you when you try to take it out. Because I ain't going to lie. I'm the type of nigga, if I feel like if you got to Cash App me the money, I'm taking it out the day that I get it. So I'm going to have to get hit with that fee. Yeah. <laughs> like, that hey, fee is dumb. Hey, stop using Cash App as a bank account, black people. Stop Bro, y'all. Why are you attacking my character right I'm now? I'm just, I, I need, <laughs> look, even why if you, you go, even why are you if attacking you go, my character right even now? Even if you go to Wood Forest <laughs> in Walmart and get an account, just have an actual bank account, man. Cash App is not a bank account, and you need a bank that account. That's a real shit. bank? I thought that was just for like taxes and shit. Wood Forest? Shit. Yeah, I thought Wood that was. Wood Forest legit, like, bank, yo. So Walmart, yo, what the fuck Walmart don't do, man? Walmart has everything. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever noticed that shit. Walmart is a one-stop shop. Yeah, bro. You go in there, they got banks. You can get your nails done. You can get your vision. They sell Jordans, too. They Not in do. the store. Oh, online? Yeah, they, they sell J's do. online. Grocery shop, clothing shop, yeah. electronics, fix your house up, buy baby clothes. <laughs> you got everything in Walmart. Damn right. Yeah, Walmart is definitely the one-stop shop. If Amazon ever opened up like a physical store though, that shit is over. Oh yeah. Walmart, Walmart might be out of here. Niggas gonna be asking for loans to go on Amazon. <laughs> that shit. Let me get in the twenty dollars. Let me go on Amazon and the twenty dollars for me. Come on, I got you back. Why the fuck when niggas ask for money like they uh they voice change up though? Cause you know. <laughs> like you notice that shit. <laughs> niggas niggas hold demeanor change. That shit hurt your pride to ask for money yo. <laughs> I literally think of everything I could possibly do before I ask a nigga to borrow some money. Yeah. If it come down to it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got my niggas. I know who got it, who I can, who I can hit up for it. And they also know I give it back. Yeah. I ain't going <clears> to <throat> be no, like, point. judgments. Ain't going to be no extra nothing. Yeah. It's just going to be like, yo, what it is. Yeah. So. <coughs> um, I don't know, man. People, people lose friendships over money, though. And I, that I don't yeah. agree with. Yeah. Don't lose friends over money, man. Not real friends. I, I yeah. guess if you're real friends, you probably won't split over money anyway. I de- I think it depends on what the what the money issue is, though. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if if it's just like, yeah, I got them loan you a dub and I ain't never get it back, like we might fuss about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Depending on how I didn't get it back. Yeah. Like if you and that's the, what I think it is. If you in the club next week, that's what I was gonna say. I think it's about how you I carry see you it. On, if I see you on the Insta story, goddamn yeah. like this with the jump with the bottle in your hand, I'ma be like, Hold up, man. I don't count pockets, but that bottle at least two fifty. <laughs> like all I needed was ten percent of that. All I needed was just tip me <laughs> like you tipped the waitress. Yeah. <laughs> and niggas don't even tip them. 
They really don't. Y'all terrible, man. Stop spending three hundred dollars on bottles and not tipping waitresses. Niggas be getting the bottle girls ten dollars. It's terrible. Especially not- in Virginia where you can't even pour your. They got to come pour your shit. I work with the club, so I know. Y'all niggas is cheap. By work, he mean on. I work in for someone. Oh yeah, he's one of them though. He's a great boss. He's like undercover boss. Like he, uh, he works in his own shit. That's the goal though. I think I'm gonna open a spot, man. You built for it. I'm gonna open a spot, man. Might as well. That's what I need to do. Now I'm saying, just make sure when. Now I'm saying when they, when they rock and they play the old town road remix on that bitch. That shit fire. <laughs> Make sure they play that the old time road fire. remix Billy over Ray, the last Billy Ray verse was hard. Yeah, what? They niggas loving country right now. Niggas love country music. Right <laughs> Let's be clear. I mean, we we all go off subject since we done with talking about loaning money, but that, yeah, uh, leaving off that 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 wasn't no damn country song. Like niggas was mad that they took that off the country <laughs> charts. Nigga, that wasn't a fucking country song. Nah, what don't get me wrong. The song is tough. Nah, the song the fire. song's tough. But it wasn't a country. It's not a country song. <laughs> It was up until that beat drop. Yeah, I, I think it was a uh, like a mock country song, like a, a like a shock value type shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think it was that, and then it just caught. Yeah. Now that shit a country song. <laughs> like that shit got Billy Ray up there. Like that shit is country now. That shit is. They gotta do a uh, they gotta do a country remix like they did the One Blood remix with Game. <laughs> you gotta get all the country singers. You gotta get Shania Twain. You gotta get. Uh-huh. Miley got to get on it. Nah, we. <laughs> Do we need? I think Miley cool. Miley cool. We cool on Miley. Oh. Where Miley been at? She came back. I don't know. I seen her. Uh, I seen her back on Twitter, singing "Hannah Montana" by the Migos in the video. Like this is goddamn 2012 or whatever fucking year that song came out. Yeah. Um, uh, playoff weekend starts. Yesterday. It did start yesterday. We had a lot of upsets yesterday. What's up with the cows, man? Y'all niggas is fucking up this week. <coughs> yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tough week to be named Kyle for, a nigga, for niggas named Kyle, and it ain't too many of them. Because that nigga Kyle Lowry, they said he's the highest paid person to never score a point in a game. Nigga had zero points in the game yesterday, fam. You didn't even show up. You could have stayed the fuck at home. Yeah, dog, that, that shit was horrible. You really could have stayed the fuck at home. That was like that was like beyond terrible. Um, uh, Kawhi, I, I mean, he did what he Kawhi yeah, did Kawhi. what Kawhi do. I'm mad because my 76 ers lost to Brooklyn. That's some bullshit. Yo, how you feel about your man's? Who you gonna boost? Stay on that side. <laughs> <laughs> he must don't know about Philly fans. No. <laughs> nah, that's how Philly fans give it up, though. Like, we love you when you play great. We hate you when you play terrible. And they're like, and that's just what it is. That we nigga. Lo- it's, it's all out of love, though. <laughs> he told the fans to stay on that side. Like, nigga, they will. They'll love the team and, right. and, and boo the fuck out of you every game. Every fucking game. Be. They will get you the fuck <laughs> like, out of there. <laughs> Niggas will boo you every game. Like, they don't give a fuck about none of that shit you talk about. You can't shoot anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like... Nigga ain't got no kind of three point shot, like nothing. <laughs> that nigga can't shoot, so they don't give a fuck anyway. And that's crazy because he's a great player. But how the fuck you can't shoot? Um, that is pretty sad. If the nigga get a, a jump player shot, of his caliber. Yeah, if he get a jump shot though, he gonna be he gonna be crazy. I, if he get a jump shot, I think he wouldn't be a, nobody would really be able to fuck with him for real. Nah, nah, he'd be a monster. Man. Yeah, cause that, but he ain't got shit else. Um, so yeah, Philly took a loss yesterday at home. Toronto took a loss yesterday at home. The uh, Pacers, Gold- we about to beat the shit out of the Celtics. We gonna get them the fuck out of here first round. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. First round. Um, Without Oladipo. Y'all lost today? Oh, the game party happened? Yeah, the game, yeah. I thought it was the night. No, 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 the Celtics game was the first one. Oh, I'm wildin'. I thought it was tonight. I thought we had the night game. Pacers lost by 10 earlier. Um, as we're currently talking, the trail, the trailblazers and the thunder are. <laughs> this nigga just dismissed the shit out. <laughs> I'm just, I, y'all not gonna beat them. Listen, if bro, you had Oladipo, you might have a shot. But listen, the Celtics stack. This was like a fill out. You know, like how Mayweather be filling niggas out in the first. We doing what LeBron do every first, the first game of every round. We just the fill out game. Yeah, if y'all can get them out of here, I'd appreciate yeah. that shit. Because Philly definitely about to get Brooklyn out of here. Nah, it's gonna be tough. 
<laughs> I don't see that happening either. And be hurt. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it happening. And them niggas can't stay off the phone on the sideline. Well, right now it is 1.9 seconds left in the Trailblazers Thunder game, and the Thunder are down by three. Thunder gonna win. It don't matter. Um, Tiger won the Masters today. Tiger came back and won he, the Masters. Like he made golf kind of cool again. Yeah. He ain't gonna watch it after today, but <laughs> I don't know if we still claim Tiger, but I almost feel like that's a win for black people. Nah, he said. What did he say? He's uh, called black Asian. Called black. Whatever the fuck that shit he told Oprah he was. <laughs> he, he called. He called black black Asian. Mm-hmm. Called black Eurasian. I don't know what the fuck. That's some bullshit. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck. He made up some word, and that's what he goes by. He says he's not black. He's called black Eurasian. Mm, never mind. I guess we won't take that as a win for black people then. <laughs> Salute the Tiger for winning, though. Being <laughs> old as shit. Yeah. Nigga made his own ethnicity up. Yeah. yeah. You can have that <laughs> shit. You can be all of that. That's what you want to be in life. I'm going to. Ride to the old town road, I'm gonna. That shit's hard. Till I can't no more. I'm about to make my I'm about to make a version. Niggas try to take over everything. I'm gonna make a rock version though. Fuck it. Cultural appropriation. They do it to us. That's, that was actually our culture first. Country, Country music. music. You goddamn right it was. That doesn't surprise me. Rock music was too. That doesn't surprise me either. Chuck Brown. No, Chuck Berry. Tripping. <laughs> Chuck Brown's go-go. <laughs> Chuck Brown's go-go. I mean, shit. That's culture, too. Speaking of go-go. You seen that speaking shit? Speaking of go-go. That was, yes. random, that was a random. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm loving it. But I love That's that what shit they fucking, the next time, right keep now. your fucking gentrified-ass mouth closed. Yeah, they try. If y'all don't know, there was a Metro PCS store in D.C. that's been playing go-go music outside their store forever. Um, Years. Came in, they gentrified the neighborhood, so they started complaining about the go-go music, and they tried to make them stop. <laughs> and these... These niggas went and set up live drums shop. and shit. They set up shop on the corner. Like, and, and every weekend they've been throwing a party. They set up shop for weekends. <laughs> this wasn't just one day. They set up shop on this corner. And they've been partying on this corner. Every weekend and since T-Mo- that shit happened. T-Mobile, since they own Metro PCS, came out and said the store can keep playing their music. Fuck them. Yeah, dog. You, that's, you talking about a culture. That's like going to New Orleans and telling the kids on the street on Bourbon, hey, I just moved here. I don't really want you beating your drums outside my house. It's stupid, man. Like, no. You moved into into our environment. And I don't know if they, I don't, we, obviously they don't know, but DC motherfuckers is petty. As hell. They with the petty shit. As hell. So, and I love it. I love every bit of it. I hope, I hope they throw one when I go up there for the cannabis festival. I wanted to make, I wanted to make that, man, but clearly my legs. Yeah, you can't walk around. Yeah. And I'm not pushing you around. I'm about to get a wheelchair and wheel myself around, B. <laughs> you gonna be like the nigga on Players Club. Mm-hmm. Being hurt is a mentality. <laughs> no, I'm sure. you gonna be like they gonna extra search you because they go. You look like you lying. <laughs> you, you look like you won't supposed to be in a fucking wheelchair. Pretty much. I don't know, man. We we gonna steal you one of the wheelchairs from in front of Walmart. B, I need that shit. <laughs> I that shit. Get you one of them shits that be in front of Walmart. We'll just take that shit back when you don't need it no more. I'm about to start a GoFundMe, bitch. I'm trying to get an electronic wheelchair out here. Yeah, just make a side story. You just gotta start it before this podcast, cause nigga gonna be like, hold on, this nigga. Hey, I'm sorry, B. You get the real. What he just say about lending and borrowing money? Don't I get this nigga it. nothing. <laughs> Don't get this nigga shit. <laughs> uh, what else happened this week? Oh, duh, one of the biggest things this week. Um, did you catch the the memorial service? Yeah, man, I definitely watched it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I didn't. I ain't watch it live. I did. I watched it live. Yeah, I. Uh, I didn't watch it read the shit live, but I definitely watched the Nipsey shit live. Yeah. That was a dope ass funeral, man, from beginning to end. Yeah, I, I, I ended up watching it. I seen um I seen his brother's speech. Black Sand's speech was dope. And I seen his pop shit and then I seen that Snoop had I was like, I might as well just watch the junk. It's only two yeah. hours. So each speech was a certain amount of time. I'm gonna watch all the speeches anyway. Yeah. So um I just ended up doing that that way. And yeah, that shit was more than one of the speech hit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like Sam said, man, or Nip said, you know what I'm saying? If I die today, I know that the set proud, nigga. <laughs> you got Farrakhan calling out the rolling 60s and shit like that, nigga, the set proud. I know they set lit. Yeah. yeah. 
And he did the one thing that, that no man could do. He brought peace to LA. He did. Like like actual peace. Not like just a couple of niggas taking pictures. Yeah, nah, some real just peace. to say it is peace. Like he brought actual peace. Like you talking about Hoovers and you know what I'm saying? Eight trays yeah, like trade, on yeah. came into the sixty territory, like yeah, on their block chilling. and was chilling with each other. Everybody chilling. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that was monumental. So, so I seen a picture, man, of the, when his when his funeral hearse was rolling past. Oh yeah. That's Lawson and Crenshaw, so Yeah, I seen the video that, that uh, should need to go in a memorial somewhere, man. Yeah. I seen the video that Gilly had posted. Cause you know, I guess he was he was out there or whatever of when it was rolling them through. Yeah. That shit was crazy. Like that shit was I think that shit was like it looked like it was more people than that was in big at Biggie shit. Oh yeah, it was. Cause uh, it was so. You know what I'm saying it was. Though, it was so. They couldn't even move the hearse. So, like they couldn't even get the hearse through the crowd. Yeah. So I don't want to make you know what I mean that man's death controversial because yeah, he's just a great man. But this death was bigger than I would say. His death was bigger than Biggie and Tupac's. Yeah. Nah. I mean, cause it. It's like two. I think I think Nipsey was what Tupac wanted to be. Yeah. Well, what he was aiming to be. I'm going to keep my terminology. <laughs> and you can argue with me. It's what Pac wanted to be. Pac yeah. wasn't that. You know what I'm saying? The difference is Nip was from, he was a kid from L.A. You know what I'm saying? He yeah, was yeah. from that hometown. And Nip went back and was still touching the streets. But he was touching the streets differently. Yeah, he was actually, like, out there. You know what I mean? He was doing shit. The Vector 90, like, all that. Like. So I know they say, you know, of course, Pac died young, so he probably didn't have a chance to grow up and mature like that. But Yeah, that's 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 where I was going when I said what he was aiming to be. I get that argument. Because when Pac got smoked, he was really just getting to the money for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He ain't been with Suge, but for a year or two. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He had just dropped me against the world. All eyes on me didn't come out yet. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh. R.I.P. Nip Hustle the Great, man. The marathon continues. Forever. That man changed my life, man. That man like, changed the way I looked at a lot of shit. Before yeah, his, like, yeah I was about to say death, before death. Like, this is before his death, yeah. Like, if, if anybody go back, though, we probably bigged up Nip at least once an episode. Like, just even, like, subconsciously. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of which, shout out to Hove. Always. <laughs> Salute the hoe. He was there. Just it was good enough. He did something. I don't know what it yeah. was yet, but he did something this week that he just need to be shouted out. That for. we just don't know about. <laughs> It'll come out. Shout out the hoe. Shout out the hoe. Um, yeah. Jay Z, holler at me. I like to do your documentary, B. Yeah. Like, for sure. I want to give you. I want to give you your flowers while you alive. Damn right. Damn. We gonna do that shit right too. In fact, we, we gonna do that shit right alive, too. Baby. Matter of fact, he got Uzi out that contract. That's he did that. Boom. Oh, did something. So he always doing something. He did something. He got Uzi out of that fucking contract. And cause they Uzi was they I guess he was kinda like in a bind. Like he was kinda fucked up. Like how his contract was structured. He couldn't drop music no more. Like he had a lot of shit going on. That's wild. And now he signed a Rod Nation and <laughs> you gotta make sure your contract's right, B. <laughs> but these young boys, they don't do that. They don't know. Yeah. They just they money. just see, oh, I'm about to get signed, that money here. That they signing the 360s and shit, and then it just is what it is from there. Take that lesson from Nip. So Don't just sign anything, man. If you, if you can do it yourself, do it yourself. It's a fact. Um, you want to touch on Kodak, or you want? to? fuck Kodak. <laughs> and I fuck. It, it's hard to say because I fuck with Kodak music. You know what <laughs> man, I thought Kodak was one of the dope young niggas that come out, but this nigga just keeps saying stupid shit out of his mouth, and it's like, yeah, he just gotta. If. Like I, like I told Cardi, when I told Cardi to stop talking. Just shut the fuck up. Because I like you. Yeah, stop just shut talking. the fuck up. Just stop shut talking. Up. I like you. Just shut the fuck up. Make your music. Be, be funny, you. And if Trick Daddy really is OG, like, you got to grab that nigga by the back of his neck. Like, hey, yeah. nigga, shut the fuck up. You're doing too much. Like, you, you, bring, yeah. you bring too much of the wrong attention. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we need, he need to have a sit down with Master P. Yeah. Because I know, I know P taught him better than that. I know Master P told him better than that. 
with the boondock saying now R. Kelly episode. If you love Kodak, get that nigga some counseling. <laughs> Take his get video some, camera away. Some help, something. Yeah. Just ban him from going live. Yeah. <laughs> Instagram, cut his yeah, live man, off. Got, this shit got to be like it's got to be edited, man. Do that shit like Facebook used to do when motherfuckers play music, they stop him from going live for like a month. Yeah. Instagram need to every time Kodak say some dumb shit. Why Kodak? They need to just ban him from going live for like a month. Yeah, I mean the only person that's that's still like I on that shit is Ti. I still yeah, yeah I haven't completely written Kodak off. Ti is mad though. That nigga's doing the whole diss song. He doing diss songs. <laughs> he's he about to drop some big words that Kodak don't even understand in the song. <laughs> Kodak got to get a translator. No, nah, Kodak gonna pull that dictionary out and he gonna read what that shit mean and he gonna be pissed. He's mad as a bitch. <laughs> he gonna be, Kodak gonna be, be hurt, man. That's all. I mean, you gotta take the punishment that come with doing dumb shits. You know, you live and you learn. You just gotta start learning, nigga, because you just yeah. continuously do dumb shit. I don't That's really see where you've learned yet. <laughs> I don't really see where you've learned yet. Oh. Yeah. Um. You definitely bugged. <laughs> Make for a long day. This man, what you? I lose? mean, what you lose, man? Don't worry about it. I'll be alright. I think. <laughs> Black folks. Black folks. Um. But yeah, nah. But that nip shit, man. Like I still, like weeks later, bro. I can't believe that shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to believe that shit, man. Shit like hurt. that shit just. He had did so much great and he had so much potential. Yo, his brother said that this nigga for two weeks was just bringing home spare computer parts. And built, a, and just and built this built shit. Built a fucking computer. No, and that, that explains so much about the whole STEM shit. Yeah. Like why he was so invested in the STEM program. That's now, why, at 12 years old though? Yeah. And then went on to use that computer to put, to do music. <laughs> so the shit was a legit computer, like the shit worked. Like, I know when he was on Deezus and Murrow, he said he didn't know what the STEM was. I, he was wildin'. Like, he, you know. He was like, yeah, I just found out myself. Like, nigga, you knew. You was, you been a computer genius since fucking 12. Yeah. But yeah, he said he got, and he bought computer parts home for like two weeks. Then he went to a computer auction. And bought the case for And it. bought the casing for this shit. Yeah, so you know what you was doing. Like, I ain't never even been, I ain't never heard a computer auction before. I don't, I don't know, know where that shit happened. That's man. why I'm scrambling. <laughs> like, where the fuck is the shit That's at? what I would help. I don't know where that shit went, yeah, dog. Life happens, man. You probably smoke <clears throat> both of them. That quit. Just don't nah. realize it. I'm sorry. Y'all got to deal with the real uncut shit. <laughs> yeah, we ain't got no editing team. We yeah. ain't cutting shit yeah. out. We, <laughs> we just go. The professionalism and shit will come later on in life, but you got to deal with this real shit right now. We just going to keep the camera rolling and let this shit. <laughs> I give up, keep bro. recording. Keep going. I give up. Yeah. So yeah, um, dating. At what point does a uh, a person's dating past become unacceptable? Um, like, is there a point where you just you just be like, you know what? Nah, now now this shit is too much. This has become too much. I can't wife you. It depends on each individual person, man. Oh. Uh, Cause everybody say they want honesty. Yeah. But some people get the honesty about a person past and they want the honesty that they was ready for. I really don't think a person past should matter too much if you dig the person that they currently are. Unless they past got some shit that's gonna come back to haunt yeah. you and them. You know what I'm saying? If it's some shit that's gonna affect y'all relationship negatively. Yeah. Then I think it should matter. But other than that, if you really fuck with a person, I, I say you don't give a fuck about their past. Now, if you got your set standards, like, you know what I'm saying, if you fuck with my homeboys, I won't fuck with you. Yeah. Those kind of set standards of past, I can understand. But but I think. If you worried about how many niggas she fucked in yeah, her past, shit like, like, that. Nigga, like. Yeah, shit like that. Does, does it matter? Does she have chlamydia? Like, is she clean now, <laughs> nigga? Like, are you, is the pussy good? Yeah, shit Enjoy like that. Shit for yeah. what the fuck it is, like. Cause it take your past to make you who you are. No, that's a that's a fact. And some yeah, shit yeah. just be learning experiences. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So everybody learn different. We all do dumb shit. So yeah, but even like that, 
I mean, we touched on it. Like, even like that homeboy shit, it just, it depends. Like, it's a dependent thing. Like, was it wifey? Just somebody that I know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Were you aware that it even happened? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, because sometimes, yo, because I don't know about other areas, but Virginia's small as hell. That's what hoes say. That's how I know you a hoe. <laughs> Anytime, anytime, Virginia is not a small area. <laughs> small. Anytime somebody tell you that their city is small, they're a hoe. <laughs> that means they've been fucking around the whole city. And everybody, anytime they fuck with somebody new, they know somebody they used to fuck with. That's not my case. I would just this nigga's a whore, a whore. I was, I was like, I'm saying, say, little whore. <laughs> you, 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 you horse? No, I was just saying in general. It's, it's small. We, our population ain't. There are seven cities that he's referring to. Okay. Virginia Beach is big as a bitch. <laughs> our population ain't like a, we ain't a metropolis. No, so it's small. Not. No, we not. <laughs> this shit's small. Everybody knows everybody here. Let's not act like everybody don't fucking know everybody in Virginia. We're not going to do that for the most part, especially with social media. I mean, everybody know everybody through social media. Yeah. So you don't really know motherfuckers. He's I mean, like, you don't oh, know him exactly. like you ain't kick it with him. You just a hoe. I mean, I used to kick it with him, but exactly. <laughs> uh, um, nah, that was just hanging out and just having just 60, chilling and shit. Six degrees of separation, huh? This nigga got four degrees of separation. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, anyway. <laughs> but no, nah, I mean, I, I guess it just depends, though. Like, for the most part, yeah, a person past shouldn't be. Like, why the fuck do you care if it don't affect what's going on now? Yeah, nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like the past only really affect people if, like... I think that shit, you think that shit more so when you're younger. You know what I'm saying? Because if you, you know what I'm saying, you 19, 20, 21, bitch, you got a horrible past at 21, you probably not the one for me. Like, you, yeah, like... <laughs> you got a lot of shit going on. Like, you probably need more time to get your shit together. Yeah, so. you probably just started slowing down. Yeah. Like, you... <laughs> At 35, if you had a horrible pass up to you at 25, if you had 10 years to get your shit together. Yeah. So. But yeah, I mean, but I think the thing is now, people worry about pass and body counts and all that shit because they're, they're dating for show. They're not dating. Yeah. They're not dating like to date the person. Very much so. You know what I'm saying? Like, they dating for, for pictures and they dating yeah. for... This is who I'm with. Comments and likes. Yeah, they and, dating for all that shit. It yeah. ain't it ain't really genuine. You can't get that when people are talking behind your back and shit. Yeah, so nah, there's really a vibe you really don't. Yeah, cause yo, know, most man. niggas most niggas uh worst fear is a nigga putting that laughing emoji under their Facebook picture. <laughs> <laughs> Him and his girl. Terrible. But that's just disrespectful. Yeah. Like, you playing around now. Like now you really like blatantly. That's different. another thing. Like, like you see people happy. You know what I'm saying, mind your fucking business, yo. You don't need to go tell your friend like, oh, we used to talk. And keep that shit to yourself, yo. Let the fucking people be happy. People don't know how to do that. Mind, mind their business. Mind your fucking business. You want people in in this age to mind their business? I'm put that shit on the shirt. So you can say, mind your fucking business. <laughs> don't don't try to trade my my shit, yo. No, y'all niggas like to do y'all. Like no, you shit. you want people in this day and age to mind their own business. That's it. Most motherfuckers don't have no business to mind. Find some. Let alone motherfucking idle hands do the devil work. You better get you some work. Man, most people don't know how to mind their own fucking business because they don't have their own business to mind. They don't got shit going on in their life, so they like to jump in everybody else's shit because they don't got shit going on. Shit retarded. I never understand it. Speaking for Kyle. It ain't for me. I mind my own fucking business. People tell me shit, and I just keep it. When people tell me shit, I keep it to myself. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, no. People tell me shit, and because like, they know I'm not gonna say shit to nobody. You know what? Because I don't fucking. Care. It's not that I don't care. Like you know what I'm saying, if you got some shit going in your life, I empathize for you. I sympathize. Nah, with I you, mean, but I just know but, how to keep it silent yeah. enough to just not spread nobody shit yeah. around. But if you telling me some gossip shit, like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck to tell I don't nobody. Care. Else, like, I don't care. Like, why the fuck do I want to spread this around? I'm cool. Interesting, though. <laughs> Might be a good laugh, maybe. Yeah. Good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'm good with that shit. No, but that's how I know. And I, that's, that what, that's what lets me know who and who not to talk to. Because a motherfucker tell me some shit and tell me not to tell nobody. Because they weren't supposed to tell nobody. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you let, failed already. That let me know not to ever tell you shit. You failed for me. 
Like, bro, I ain't supposed to say nothing to nobody, but goddamn. All right. Remind me not to fucking tell you anything later in life. I am really at a loss for where this other blunt went. Bro, that shit gone, man. It has disappeared on me, and I'm sad about life. That shit gone. It's over. Probably somewhere clearly within reach there. It's over. It is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where that shit went. Anything you got to add? Oh. Um, nah, man. Let me just tell you, appreciate life, yo. Um, of course, with the loss of Nip. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, the personal shit I went through. Just life. Appreciate life. Live that shit every day to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? Tell your friends. Tell your family you love them. If you got any retarded, stupid beefs and shit like that, yo, dead them shits, get them out the way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, life's too short. Life's too short, man. And mind your own fucking business. <laughs> Pretty much. This <laughs> it. Mind your own fucking business, B. And life would be, life would be good. But get on your grind, get on your hustle, man. Like, but nah, life it, dog. And that nip shit just lets you know, like, at any given time, bro. The good die young B. I just turned 33. At any given time. Like, I'm sure Nip ain't had, like, he won't ex- expect and no nigga shit had, to happen. Nigga had plans that night, man. I'm sure. <laughs> you know what I'm you saying? Like, he had shit to do. I'm sure he didn't have that shit on his spirit at all of nothing happening to yeah. him that day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit just, like, fuck tomorrow, nigga. Today not promised. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can fuck around and. This is a fact. This is a big fact. Anything can happen at any Anything. given time. So. Any given time. So yeah, make sure you tell your people you love them, man. Every, every time you leave them. Remind yeah, them. don't don't wait till they sick or in the hospital or something happened to them to fucking go. They, they want to tell them then. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I think we had a habit of that shit, too. That's it, like it black, is. black bad, people at funerals, man. Black families. That's what we do. Somebody die. Oh, we need to get together more. And then we never get together. <laughs> and, and, and we need to do this more than just at funerals. Yeah. And you don't see them to the next goddamn funeral. Exactly. And they're going to say so, the same thing better. at the next one. And then you don't see them again to the next funeral. So, yeah, I mean, I know everybody always say it, but, yeah, give people their roses, man, while they're here. Give people their roses while they can still smell them. They ain't give their fucking money back. Stop being broke and dirty. <laughs> <That's a fact. laughs> Stop being broke and dirty. That's a fact. So I can get my I can get my two dollars off you know then. I'm a cash app, you friend. Cash app cash app two dollars. <laughs> Number one, they're gonna take one of them. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna send you the tax too. I got you. That's what real <laughs> niggas do. Real niggas send a tax too to Cash App. Don't send me the back amount. Nah man. You cash out me fucking two dollars, I'm gonna block you <laughs> on everything and life and all that shit. Cause that's the pettiest shit ever. I am a petty motherfucker. I think the only nigga gonna earn petty than me might be fifty. Oh, I almost let that slip past. Salute the 50. Yeah. Fuck the petty part of it. Salute to my nigga 50. Like, you owe me money? Oh, you oh, you want to drop singles? See, he went and trademarked the bitch. He crazy. trademarked her diss song. And sold that shit on shirts and shit. One of the shirts was kind of fire. I was not going to lie. It was him sitting there counting money. And then he said, like, broke or some shit on it. I might cop that shirt. I ain't got it. Yeah, because I really ain't got it. So now every time that song play, <laughs> she got to pay this man. Fifty the goat, man. <laughs> and being petty. I aspire to be that petty, man. Yeah, nah. Fifty is definitely the king of that shit, man. Yeah, he's reached super saiyan <laughs> levels of petty. <laughs> Fifty is definitely the king of that shit. I'm. He's definitely my aspirations. Yeah. And cool. he a cancer. That makes sense. That that explains a lot. That makes sense. He's emotional. Yeah. But see, niggas always think emotional just mean like, ooh, like, nah, nah. like, like emotional. Nah. I know some killers that are emotional niggas. A nigga that get angry fast is yeah, emotional. Yeah, I know some killers that are exactly. <laughs> hey, blackout dude, forgot what happened. Yeah. So, but yeah, man, love people, man. Love people while they're here. Appreciate your life. Do that shit. Yeah. What you got? <laughs> what you got, man? Just be like water. How the fuck do you be like water? Just be like water. That's it? No matter what happens in life, no matter where you go, just be like water. Just be like water. I like that. 
Yeah, you ain't never heard of Bruce Lee shit? No. If you put the water in the bottle, it becomes the bottle. Well, if you put the water, I don't know. I mean, I picked up on it when you said it, but yeah, it <laughs> He sense. said a whole bunch of shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, you put water in this, it'll become that. It'll just be like water. Makes sense. And also, cotton candy ain't crunchy, but pot rocks are. But neither one of them tastes good inside of a Big Mac bun. Peace. <laughs>